In this series of videos, we will demonstrate IDEX's optimized procedures for the isolation and identification of Cryptosporidium oocysts and Giardia cysts. Each short video clip will cover the following procedures. Sample collection, elution using Filtermax Express, centrifugation, immunomagnetic separation, staining, microscopy. Sample collection can be performed at the point of source or in the laboratory. IDEX can provide the necessary equipment to perform sample filtration. For the purposes of this video, we will demonstrate a quality control procedure using a commercially available spike dose. First, place the carboy containing the sample onto a magnetic stirrer plate. Take an IDEX Filtermax Express filter housing and place a filter module inside the housing, ensuring that the bolt head is facing downwards. Tighten the lid using the green housing tools provided, ensuring that the lid and base tag holes align and the housing is not over-tightened. A pressure of 0.5 bar or 7.5 psi is required to create flow through the filter housing and filter. Use a recommended pump system, such as those supplied by Watson Marlow or Masterflex. Introduce the peristaltic tubing to the pump setup and carboy. It's recommended that platinum-cured silicon tubing is used to prevent cysts and oocysts from sticking. Attach the tubing to the filter housing. Ensure hose clips are present and secure to prevent sample loss. Once the setup is complete, perform a system check by filtering the sample for 30 seconds. During this time, inspect for any leaks and measure the flow rate. Adjust the pump settings as required to achieve a flow rate of between 1 to 2 litres per minute. Note that alternative types of pump and tubing may be used, but should be assessed for suitability with the system. Turn the stirrer plate on to mix the sample at 200 RPM. Then introduce the spike dose to the water sample. Make sure that the spike has been removed from the refrigerator 30 minutes prior to use. Take one vial, add 2 millilitres of 0.05% tween 20 to the vial. Vortex the vial at full speed for one minute and decant into the carboy. Add three millilitres of reagent water to the vial and vortex at full speed for 30 seconds. Decant the rinse into the carboy. Add a further three millilitres rinse. Vortex for 30 seconds and decant. This method of extraction is intensive, but provides a consistent transfer of the target organisms. Ensure that the sample is stirred for at least one minute prior to filtration. Start the pump and ensure all of the sample is filtered. Some air may pass through the filter, but try to minimize this. To rinse the carboy, add one litre of filtered tap water neutralised with 100 microliters of 10% sodium thiosulfate to the carboy and agitate vigorously. Start the pump to commence filtration of the rinse. Perform a second one litre rinse. Ensure that any residual liquid is transferred to the filter. Disconnect the tubing from the filter housing and proceed with module elution. <laughs> 